Hi, Laura back again, and this time with one of my most favourite model at SIPs, the BCG matrix, otherwise sometimes referred to as the growth share matrix. So this is a matrix that you will see at level five and level six. It's particularly important in the level six though. Here you see the actual model. We have um, on the axes relative market growth and relative market share. And we have stars, question marks, cash cows, and docs. And in this video, we're going to drill into each one of these areas and use an example of chocolate bars. I don't know why, I always use chocolate bars when I'm teaching this to help bring it to life a little bit for you. I think it's a really nice, simple model. So essentially, this is a growth strategy model. Um, and the growth share matrix is a chart that was created by Bruce D. Henderson for the Boston Consulting Group in 1970. And it helps corporations analyze their business units and their product lines and decide what to put their energy in and therefore how to grow. So all of these are growth strategies. The first area that we're going to look at is the cash cow. The cash cow in the matrix is low growth, high market share. Essentially, pretty much everyone has bought and used this product. So it's not growing much because it's saturated the market, it's a market leader, but it, there's high market share there. So it's, it's basically taken over. And companies should milk these cash cows for cash to reinvest. So that's what Mars Bar and Dairy Milk is done. You don't tend to see adverts for these because they don't need to be advertised. People will buy them regardless. The next area is dog. Dogs have low share, so low market share and low market growth. Essentially, it's just not working. So companies should liquidate, divest or reposition these pets. They could have been pet projects by the owner that didn't really work out or perhaps the public didn't get on board with it. So I don't know if you remember this, but a couple of years ago, and I can't remember which firm did it, there was some chocolate crisps. Now, they weren't actual crisps, but they were pretty much like how you'd see Pringles crisps, but chocolate, and they were amazing. And now they've disappeared. No one bought them, and I'm very sad about it. The next area is question marks. Question marks are essentially a question. We don't know how they're gonna go. Companies should invest in or discard these question marks depending on their chances of becoming stars. So essentially guys, these are new products that you hope will turn into a star that we're going to look at in a moment. However, right now, because they're new, we're not sure whether they're going to turn into a star or whether they may turn into a dog and we have to get rid of them. So I started looking at new products that were out there and right now, Cadbury's have brought out a dairy milk banoffee nut crumble. So let's see if that goes well or turns into a dog. And the final area is star. Stars are high growth, so high market growth, high market share. Companies should significantly invest in these stars as they have high future potentials. The idea is that we want to get the star to become a cash cow, which we can then milk for years to come. So. I was having a look at sales and for Cadbury's, their marvellous creations of the dairy milk with, I don't know, popping candy, Oreos, all sorts of stuff in there um, have become massively popular. And you can see that they've done line after line of these. So that would be a star. Hope you found this useful. Please subscribe, check out our courses and catch me back on the next video. Thanks so much for listening. Bye for now.